Uh, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing out there, yo? Um, Pistons beat the Nets today. It was a up and down. It was a competitive game until the fourth quarter. Um, Andre Drummond was great tonight. Blake Griffin. We gonna we gonna get into it all, man. First, I'm gonna start uh with like small things. Reggie Bullock did his thing. You know, Luke Kennard did his thing. Galloway did his thing off the bench. Tolliver was being Tolliver being scrappy out there. Stanley Johnson was amazing tonight, 19 points. Uh, who else? Andre Drummond, I think he had, it was 15 and 27. Fucking ridiculous, 27 rebounds. I remember I was looking at this video, like, this was like a year ago. This was a while back. And the dude was explaining it. And basically what he explained in the video, which were, it was all facts, Andre Drummond is on pay was on pace to like be the greatest rebound ever. Greatest rebounder ever. Now, I feel like all types of rebound ain't created ain't created equally. But if we talking about literally getting the number of board, like how many boards you get, like he's on pace to break all the records. Like all of the records. 27 rebounds in a fucking game. Oh my goodness. Uh the most all season by any player. You see how Blake Griffin. Like, see, the normal, like, Blake Griffin just elevated everybody. Andre Drummond just a little bit, man. Uh, Okay, so Blake was uh struggling, shooting the ball in the first three quarters. You know, and this is what Stan Van Dundee, dummy, he pisses me off because I notice things, but it's like he noticed it three or four minutes later. I noticed Blake was tired. I'm like, all right, Blake kind of tired. Sit him down. He's not really making shots. And then he missed that one three-pointer. It, like, went right in and slipped right out. I'm like, okay, you need to sit him down. But, of course, Dan Van Dummy, it takes him two and a half minutes to sit, two and a half extra, you know, minutes to sit him down. Same thing with Drummond. When Drummond got tired, like, he missed some easy layup, and it was a terrible miss. I'm like, okay, Drummond needs to sit down, put him back at the end of the fourth and let Blake run it, and that's what he ended up doing. It. But, uh, okay, so. I love the way Stanley Johnson played, man. I'm loving the way Stanley Johnson is playing. Like, he's just on a different level right now, man. And I just love to see his growth and just love to see his freedom, man. Uh, You know, creating for that pass that he created for Luke Kennard. Um, Okay, so in the fourth, once Blake came back in, this is, this is the difference between having a go-to superstar guy and not having one. The way that next game was going, uh, we probably would have lost that game again. Seriously. But in the, in the fourth, Blake had 11 in the fourth. Blake just, he just too strong. They couldn't guard him. Following him, like, he just playing bully ball and just, and he created a couple shots, a couple assists. I mean, the dude led the team in assists. He has seven fucking assists, bro. Leading the team in assists, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, the dude is out there doing his thing, having a go-to guy. And this one I really knew. It's like the team has an added confidence. And I'm not I'm not even talking about, like, confidence in themselves. It's like confidence in winning. When it was 99-102, to 102, the Nets had just hit a, a, a big shot. And then, you know, that's kind of what the Pistons would probably panic normally, like, without Blake, with our old squad. And, you know, miss a shot, and then Nets would come back down and score again, and the game would be tied. But instead... Reggie Bullock is calm. He's confident. Blake gives him the ball, and he just like he just drives and just scores. Like like yeah, like this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to win. Like we we you know it's just a different mentality, and I've seen that happen in the, in the last few games, man. Stan Van Gundy needs to get his rotations right. He had a little you know, you know we gonna all have problems with the coach, man. But the players are playing right now. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Blake. I'm glad to have a superstar here. Because, like, I mean, if you watch the game, you've seen it. Get a ball to Blake. Let him make all the decisions. He's going to either score. He's going to pass. He's going to create attention. Even when he was creating that attention, and Ish Smith was literally able to slide in the crevice, get a quick pass from Blake because he's garnering on that attention, man. And Drummond, man, Drummond was such a beast tonight, man. I'm loving how this team is looking, y'all. I'm really, really loving it. But the Pistons win, man. We beat the Nets. I like, I love it, man. Blake Griffin clutch in the fourth quarter, man. Everybody did their job. And, like, all of these wins are not individual accomplishments to me. Like, not a 40-point crazy game. Like, to me, these are all team 
wins. We all connected. We on our bond is only getting stronger, man. We on a five game winning streak, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the Pistons. I got a uh, I got another video coming up for y'all too, though. Three one three J Mo. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know your thoughts, man. Make sure you get us a like, though. I'm out.